News 2 Sports presents Hot Hook and Cook. It's that time once again where we get the chance to showcase all that South Carolina has to offer. And being so close to the sea, the Low Country is a premier spot for some hunting, fishing, and good eats. And that's why for our next stop for Hunt, Hook, and Cook, I thought we'd hit the water and cast out with Redfin Charter. Well, we've been going full throttle for the last couple of weeks. We've been catching them, we've been cooking them, but now we're going to take our foot off that gas, take a look more into the logistics as well as the techniques that is required to catch those fish. And I'm joined as always by Captain Crawford, just telling us more about what we need to know. Uh, today, what we're going to do is basically, we're just going to show you one rig that we do use on a regular basis. And it's a favorite here in the Charleston area, as well as all the way down to Louisiana. But uh, we're going to show you how to use that rig, how to cast that rig, and how to make it. And hopefully that's going to put more fish in your pan. Perfect. Let's get to it. All right. All right. So I'll show you how to cook a lot. So I'll show you how to make a rig to actually go out and catch fish to cook. But uh, so what we have here is a, a simple popping cork rig. You can buy these rigs already pre-made at your local tackle at your local tackle shop. And if you notice, they rattle, make a lot of noise. The reason that it rattle is to imitate the sound of the shrimp. So what you want is about a two to three foot leader, depending on how deep you're fishing. I'm gonna take it, tie it. I like to use a circle hook whenever I'm using live bait. And then you're gonna take and put just a small split shot about halfway up on your rig. Now I take my live shrimp. Some people like to hook them through the horn at the top. Personally, I like to hook mine through the tail kind of imitates that shrimp fleeing away. So what you want to do is, once you've got it rigged, take, cast it over towards the bank. Once it's out, about every 20 seconds or so, you keep the line tight, and every 20 seconds you want to give it up a pop. And then as soon as you see that cork go down, start reeling. Perfect. Well, thank you so much again. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll have another episode of Hunt, Hook, and Cook next week. We'll see you then.